let's say I do get a Kimura. I'm here, his defense is really solid. I can't pass his guard, it's crazy tight, right? I'm like, I'm like, but I don't want to give this up just yet. All right, what I'm going to do, boom, jump out here. Okay, and again, depending on what he does, sometimes I can just come up here, boom, get my Kimura, he starts sitting up into me, boom. Now he's giving me his back, right? So, a lot of options off this position. Actually, was it? I think it was Davi Hamos used this in the UFC. Got a back take, finished, I think, with a rear naked choke, if I could recall. So again, I get that Kimura, boom. Everything's tight, all right? So, my hips are gonna travel and slide over his shoulder here, okay? So I'm here, and I'm just jumping over while I keep the Kimura tight, boom. And I end up here, right? Now, if I leave the arm here and he turns into me right now, it becomes a triangle for him, right? So that's an option there. If it comes off, he turns into me, all right? Now I have back takes here or arm bars, right? Back take, I slide the bottom knee in, hook, switch my hands, and now I got the choke already in place. I can start finishing here. Or expose that second hook. If, ah, sorry, that's okay. I'm a little slow and he comes up quickly. All right, I can look to get this arm bar here. Boom. The same position, right? Or if I don't wanna chance it at all, when I dive through right away, I'm coming up right here. When I'm in this position, I'm gonna rotate you a little bit here. Okay, elbow on the mat. I'm trying to get all my weight on the shoulder. So it's gonna be either my lat, side of my rib cage, hip that's pressing down here. All right, a little trick here. If he's like this, all right, that's a tap, okay? <laughs> so if you look, just look at his shoulder. Relax right now, right? It's down. As I move here and pin his wrist, it's popped up is relieving pressure that way. So if I push down here, he doesn't like it, all right? So when I'm like this, I'm maximizing that leverage here. Yeah, I barely have to move. And if I, I the finish is gonna be off my left elbow, just elevating, boom, right there. And it looks like he can turn into me. <laughs> I can't go into no, he'll rip his shoulder out. That's interesting. All right. I'm so this is like what I call the same side Kimura. And for, for me, that's the most powerful Kimura of them all. Because you get to maximum weight on the shoulder, which is a joint that we're attacking. Okay, so one last time. Half guard, boom. I got the Kimura. His defense is sound. All right, I'm just sliding my hips over. Boom. So when I get there quick, I'm dropping that right elbow after I jump over down there. Because once I get that elbow there, it's hard for him to come over. Hugging that elbow really tight with my chest. Duh. If you're more advanced, you can play with the other position. Essentially, that's the T position, T TV position, where we can get the back arm bar, all that good stuff. All right? Let's do it in three. Ready? One, two, three. Hoop. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. That way, you'll be alerted when the next video drops. Now, if you want to get more videos like this on a daily basis, go and visit my membership site at ffacoach.com. We have online video curriculums, our daily videos, and you can get bonus courses like the Kimura Trap System for free when you enroll today. So go ahead and help support the channel and visit today.